Hello, I'm CC Hogan. This is a short demonstration of manual punch and roll while recording an audiobook. What is punch and roll? It is simply a method of editing on the fly while recording. When you make a mistake, you wind back and go into record just before the mistake and pick up where you left off. Recording this way means you have far less editing to do later. There are two methods of punch and roll. The most common method is to set a punching point where you want to go into record and then use a pre-roll and auto-record to wind back and pick up. The second method is working manually, which is what I'm doing here. Manual punch and roll is what we used to do in studios before we had the ability to program a punching point, especially on tape many years ago. When I make a mistake, all I do is stop, wind back, press play and hit record at the appropriate point, punching in. Because I'm not having to program a punching point, this is much faster. Also, rather than rely on a preset pre-roll length, I can wind back as much or as little as I wish. This method does take a little bit of practice, but is really very easy. I'm using Cubase Pro here, but this will work on any professional system. I'm sitting in my control room using a cheapo mic, so I'm sorry the sound is not great. Usually I'm sitting in my voice booth using a quiet remote and a foot switch. I can't see the waveform from in there, but because this is instinctive, I don't need to. So, let's record some narrative. This is from The Stink, which is one of my own books. Chapter 2. Hannibal and his Elephants Long, thick black hair might be traditional if you were born in Dublin of a family from Cork, but in this... If you were born in Dublin of a family from Cork... But in this weather, it was a complete pain in the arse. So decided... But in this weather, it was a complete pain in the arse. So decided Aroma, as she cruised round her bedroom trying to find some hair bands. Lou Reed's strained vocals scraped their way off... Bedroom trying to find some hair bands. Lou Reed's strained vocals scraped their way out of a record player from his new album, Rock and Roll Heart. Roma had never heard of Lou Reed before, but just loved the name of the album. She... But just loved the name of the album. She thought she had made a discovery and was miffed when her brothers told her how cool Reed was and how it was amazing she'd missed out on him for so long. Generally... She'd missed out on him for so long. Generally, she... Generally, she loved her brothers and sisters... Except when she hated them, of course. She hummed the chorus to You Wear It Well as she ran out of places to look that didn't involve any serious looking. Jax, you got a hair band. They're ha- To look that didn't involve any serious looking. Jax, you got a hair band. The house was a big old fortress of a place, and Aroma yelled to be heard down the landing. To be heard down the landing. A few minutes later, and Jacqueline, Roma's older sister, stomped into the room. Jesus, but have you never noticed how it... Sister stomped into the room. Jesus, but have you ever noticed how everything in the feckin' house goes the one direction? Your feckin' bedroom. I swear if you ever die and we take this place apart, we... I swear if you ever die and we take this place apart, you will find hundreds... No, oh, wrong ever die and we take this place apart we will find hundreds of feckin' air bands I mean Jesus and we'll stop there so there you go a very short demonstration but I hope it gives you an idea of how fast it is working like this for more about me please head off to cchogan.com see ya <laughs>